Hi friends, what do you mean by the Dashamsha or the D10 chart? The D10 chart in your horoscope, it is a divisional chart as per Parashari Jyotish. D10 is a very significant divisional chart. Dashamsha means the 10th division of a sign or it is the 10th division of your horoscope. All right, the 10th part. So that is the division or the divisional chart which is concerned with your career, with your profession, your professional life and also it will show what kind of social image or right, public image you're going to have in this life. Okay, your social reputation also it can show. Your, it is concerned with your karma, your karma in this life. So that is the, the Shamsha. Now uh, you have to look at the ascendant, which is very significant in your D10 chart. Okay, look at the sign, the sign, the rising sign in the ascendant of the Dashamsha. Alright, so in this video we'll talk about the zodiac sign in the first house of your Dashamsha or D10 chart or that means we are talking about the ascendant of your D10 chart. Okay, so from Aries to Pisces, all 12 signs through the ascendant of your D10. So this video is going to be all about that. What approach you are going to have towards your professional life, it can show that primarily. Okay, and some, sometimes it can also overtly show the kind of work that you might do also. So friends, uh, let's uh, quickly refer to the sample chart. Hi friends, so you can see this is a D1 chart, alright, uh, the chart of a Cancer Ascendant. This is the D1 Lagna chart or birth chart. Okay, so in this D1 chart, you can see that, uh, uh, you know, uh, Cancer, Ascendant and Moon is placed in the 12th house. So Ascendant Lord in the 12th house. Now, similarly, every native will also have a D10 chart. The D10 chart is actually the Dashamsha. Okay, the D10, you can see. So this chart is actually the chart of your career. So this is your career, the chart of career, it's the Dashamsha chart, all right? So in this chart, you can see that uh, the native has Pisces in the first house of the D10. Now Jupiter, where has Jupiter gone? Well, the Lord of the 12th, uh, the Lord of the first house or the Ascendant Lord has gone to the fifth house. In the sign of cancer so this native has exalted ascendant lord the lord of uh, the ascendant in d10 is exalted in the fifth house so the native can get name fame recognition success because of their profession or career okay the sign of pisces is there so the profession may be connected to and the uh, and it may be connected jupiter is uh, also exalted so it may be connected to independent counseling, uh, the native may be uh, 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 into healing, into any sort of counseling field. Also you have to look at which planets are aspecting Jupiter. So Jupiter is being aspected by Saturn. So Saturn-Jupiter is a very good combination for being a counselor. Okay, uh, Or it can also show any sort of uh, profession which is connected with uh, you know, imparting knowledge. Uh, so, uh, teaching, counseling, it can show. Now, even healing, it can show because Pisces is there. But uh, Pisces can show all of that. So, you have to look at the f uh, ascendant. So, the native is a Pisces ascendant. So, the native will do well in their profession if they are trying to gain knowledge because Pisces is ruled by Jupiter. So, go on gaining knowledge in life sharing your knowledge with others then this native will get good results so this native may be into teaching into healing into independent counseling so any of these professions may be connected even pisces is connected to the field of occult 
it can show that also because Jupiter after all is in the sign of Cancer. Cancer is also a water sign connected to moon and intuition. So the native may also be in, into the field of occult. So that is why we should look at the first house of the D10 and which sign is there in the D10 that is very important. So here you can see you have the sign of Pisces. Okay, so that's what. So now friends, let's uh, get started and do subscribe to the channel and hit the all notification bell. Okay friends, are you an Aries Ascendant in your D10? That means, do you have the sign of Aries in your first house of the D10 chart? Then what sort of results you can expect? Aries is ruled by Mars. It is also believed to be connected. Uh, Aries is a, obviously it is connected to Mars. It is connected to uh, fire energy. Okay. Now Aries is a, uh, you know zodiac sign which is movable or cardinal fire sign it is also part of the dharma trine the trine of duty and knowledge even intuition creativity and positive change also if mars is well placed it will signal positive change because of your career your career will bring about a positive change in your life or your career itself will go through a lot of changes. It can also show that you can do something of your own because Aries is also connected with independence. So you could do well in entrepreneurship or in independent business. Even if you're doing some job, if you have, if you're an Aries, uh, ascendant in the D10 then you should consider doing something of your own you can be creative also you can have some creative skill you can be highly intuitive so use your creativity use your intuition in your work whatever be your work whether business whether independent venture or whether you are into job this is also a very good position for be being an independent counsellor when you have Aries in the first house of detail. So you should look at how Mars is placed in your D10 chart and also in your D1 chart how Mars is placed. That is going to be very significant and it will give you a lot of clues about your profession in this life. Also look at the planets which are associated with Mars or the first house of your D10. They can also give you a lot of clues about your career. Look at the dispositor of Mars, how Mars's dispositor is placed in D10. That also you should look at. That will also give you an idea. If the dispositor is more or less well placed, you will get good results. Changes may come in your professional life, but those changes will be for your good and eventually you will, you know, see growth in career because of those changes. Aries in the first house of your D10. So for you, you know, what sort of attitude you should have towards your profession? That is, you should always be dutiful you should be accountable you know through your work if you are doing some work uh, which is going to benefit society then definitely you should keep that in mind or if you are working for some organization you should be accountable so accountability dutifulness in professional life is very important when you have Aries in the first house of your D10. And you should always be a seeker of knowledge, a knowledge seeker, that is very important. When you are a knowledge seeker, then you will see growth in your professional life. Enhance your knowledge, your level of intuition, your creativity, okay, that's very important for you. 
सो यू विल बिलीव इन एम्ब्रेसिंग पॉजिटिव चेंज ऑल्सो नाउ इन योर प्रोफेशनल स्पीयर यू विल हैव टू कॉन्स्टेंटली कीप अपग्रेडिंग योर सेल्फ योर नॉलेज ओके कीप अपग्रेडिंग योर नॉलेज सो दैट यू कैन ग्रो डे बाई डे इन ऑर टू सी ग्रोथ एंड सक्सेस इन योर करियर और प्रोफेशन यू विल हैव टू कीप अपग्रेडिंग योर नॉलेज यू हैव टू कीप अपग्रेडिंग योर स्किल्स दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेन यू हैव एरिस इन द फर्स्ट हाउस ऑफ योर डी टेन योर प्रोफेशन कुड बी कनेक्टेड टू ऑन्टरप्रेन्योरशिप और इंडिपेंडेंट बिजनेस इट कुड बी कनेक्टेड टू इवन स्पोर्ट्स इट कुड बी कनेक्टेड टू इवन एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ स्टडी Uh, which is uh, connected with uh, because after all mars no so it it can also it could be any sort of job even engineering uh, even it could be connected to technology also so it could be any sort of job then uh, you could be a gym instructor so you could uh, you could be somebody who is uh, Uh, who is into some artistic field you have some artistic uh, or creative abilities so you could be into that sort of field also it can show so when you have aries in the first house of the d 10 we can say all of that now aries is ruled by mars so you have to look at how mars is placed so all these professions you can be an independent counselor also you can be an independent counselor uh, you can be an independent healer also you can do something independently that's also possible okay so yeah all these things we can say when you have aries in the first house of your d10 so just be dutiful be accountable in the professional sphere and just keep on gaining knowledge and enhance your knowledge that's very important keep upgrading your knowledge and also see to it that if you are if you have some creative skill try to enhance that creative skill creative creativity use your creativity use your original thoughts you know in your work people who have aries in the first house of d10 they need to bring out their originality and creativity in their work when you bring out your originality and creativity when you are when you have the power to look at things differently so that will happen only when you are engaged in in depth study when you are a seeker of knowledge then only you'll be able to develop a sense of originality and creativity okay so that is why you have to be constantly you have to be a seeker of knowledge so all these things we can say about aries uh changes can come about in your profession at if mars is not so well placed you may make impulsive decisions also in your profession hasty uh, decisions impulsiveness uh, in your actions pertaining to your work so that also may be seen okay so the first house of d10 is not just your profession but also your karma your actions in this life so before uh, you know uh, before executing action any sort of action you have to remember that it is very important to think deeply it is very important to give things a second thought do not act impulsively if you act impulsively without proper thinking then it's not going to be fruitful for you so that is important but yes you will have a lot of passion energy vitality and you will want to execute your uh, you know whatever task is there ahead of you you will want to you know execute that with all energy vitality and that is a good thing uh, that is a good thing again so on the one hand you have a lot of energy and you will have a lot of passion you can also be ambitious on the other hand 
you may at times get impulsive and you may end up doing things hastily and if mars is not well placed or getting afflicted especially with rahu then uh, the person may also have an you know uh, in your professional sphere uh, you know your you may have ego clashes with people this may happen so you may you may you know your the ego clashes that you that you may have with people in the professional sphere that may create problems for you in your professional mm. sphere mm. that also can happen so be careful about all of that okay so don't get arrogant uh, because you have knowledge or creativity so don't do that uh, don't uh, get arrogant uh, don't have an inflated ego uh, but yes you need to be disciplined when you have aries in the first house very important for you to be disciplined in your work to be dutiful disciplined structured and uh, to to definitely carry out your work with passion with a lot of desire and ambition to rise in life now let's move on to the next sign taurus when you have taurus in the first house of your d10 or when you have taurus in the ascendant of d10 then uh, we can say that you are somebody who will be very methodical structured systematic grounded practical goal oriented in your approach to work whatever work you do whether it's your profession whether it is any other work that you are engaged in your karma whatever karma whatever actions you will you know undertake you will do all of that with a lot of uh, strategic thinking and structure and responsibility because taurus is an earth sign and it is fixed earth taurus shows stability now taurus is ruled by venus you have to find out how venus is placed in your d10 chart and also your d1 chart that will also give you a clue so if venus is placed in the 7th house then what will happen then it you will get further clues about your about the kind of job that you will do you may be into you may be an independent counselor you may be into human resources management so human resource management you may be uh, into counseling you may be in the field of law trading so because it is in the 7th house all these things we can say so like that you have to find out the dispositor has gone to which house it is in association or connection or conjunction with which planets all that will give you a lot of clue a lot more clue a lot a lot more idea or uh, a lot more ideas about your career so when you have a taurus in the first house of your d10 so it is very important to look at how venus is placed okay if it is more or less well placed then definitely you will be structured and systematic and disciplined in your approach to work earth sign and taurus is fixed earth it is part of the earth the trine the trine of hard work the trine of materialistic pursuits so such a person can also be materialistic uh, especially as far as their profession is concerned they'll be very materialistic they they want to chase their goals their targets eventually they want to amass wealth in life they want to accumulate resources for themselves that could be because they want to definitely be a provider for their family or they want to lead a comfortable luxurious life themselves they may also want to be charitable towards the downtrodden but for everything they believe that they need resources so they want to accumulate resources in life and they are very hard working they can be very goal oriented so that is the approach they can have an interest in the occult whatever is hidden mysterious so any sort of hidden knowledge mysterious knowledge occult knowledge mystical knowledge people who have taurus in the first house of their d10 they are interested in such things because you you know the taurus sign is also connected to mystery and occult it is connected in bhrigunandi nadi jyotish there is a belief that if you have a 
uh, if you have you know powerful planets in Taurus especially if you have Venus in Taurus you can do very well in Bhrigu Nandinari astrology so Taurus is connected to the occult to the realm of the mysterious and occult so that is also possible they will have an interest in such things now also they may pursue that as, a, as their profession even and uh, Taurus in the first house of D10 they could be into banking sector there is very systematic methodical I told you they could be in the finance sector banking sector they can make use of their speech a lot in their profession second house uh, is also the house of your values and skills and education also okay so whatever skills it is because you know according to the bhavad bhavam concept the third house is second from the second house okay so the third house is the house of skills we know so it is second from the second house so second house is also connected to whatever you possess whatever values whatever education whatever skills so if all that is also seen from the second house your speech even communication ability all that also we can see from the second uh, from the second house where we have the sign of Taurus in the chart of the Kalpurusha so Taurus is connected to whatever you possess whatever you possess your values your knowledge your education so everything your principles your skills whatever you possess that Taurus can show that okay so you will have to make use of all of that in your profession all right Taurus uh, is connected to speech as I told you definitely it is connected to Venus so your profession could be connected to interior decoration designing it could be connected to uh, beauty fashion cosmetics even to showbiz because Venus signifies all of that so it could be connected to any any of these professions also if you have Taurus it could be connected to your artistic and creative skills your profession may be connected to real estate also or it may be connected to artistic creative skills any sort of artistic creative skills you may uh, you may have so yes all of these things we can say nevertheless you will be somebody who will be very systematic and very result oriented you want results you want practical results through your hard work that's it and so yeah uh, so Taurus we all know the earth sign and fixed earth so you want stability in your profession okay so for that you will work hard yes so all these things we can say when you have Taurus it is the symbol of the Taurus is that of the bull so the bull is known for its you know focus and dedication towards its goal so all these qualities you know Taurus ascendant in the D10 can have now let's move on to what will happen friends if you have not yet subscribed to the channel then please do subscribe and hit the all notification bell for such videos on astrology and do not miss the introduction of the video if you have Gemini what will happen Gemini is symbolized by the twins the two the the twins the talkative twins or siblings uh, who are intelligent, witty, humorous, at times indecisive or confused but nevertheless who are very intelligent, very adaptable they can imitate uh, people and they can imitate things they have great imitative ability so that is the Gemini so your profession may be connected to communication skills any sort of skills actually that you have any sort of artistic skills, creative skills it may be connected to uh, communication skills so your profession could be connected to writing painting journalism uh, it could be also it could also be connected to communication technology 
communication technology or uh, because third house is connected to we know that the chart of the cosmic man it is connected to both mercury and mars so information technology communication technology so your profession may be connected to that or any sort of technology for that matter profession may be connected to that now uh, you will be very ambitious as far as your profession is concerned because you know uh, gemini uh, is part of the gemini is part of the uh, which trine it is part of the kama trikona the trine of ambition desire okay so you have a lot of ambition a lot of desire to actually rise in your life you want success in your profession you want to fulfill all your the you know you you want to fulfill your uh, desires you want to fulfill your ambition you have uh, you know a lot of desires in life and you want to fulfill them now and uh, you want to see growth prosperity in life because of your profession this can happen because gemini in the first house of t10 can make you highly ambitious you can be somebody who is highly ambitious all right so yes that we can say also uh, friends we can say that when you have gemini in the first house of d10 uh, you will uh, be somebody who will be very skillful also so very intelligent so you need to make use of your intelligence okay your intellectual depth your skills make use of them in your profession your profession could be connected to education or teaching it could be connected to that even to counseling okay your profession could be connected to uh, trading to sales and marketing it can be connected to that also your profession may be connected to traveling you may have to travel a lot because of your profession you may need to undertake a lot of travels because of your profession so all these things we can say friends when you have gemini in the first house of your d10 all right so you just uh, initially in life you may be a little confused also this may happen regarding your profession um, you are skillful you may want to do this also that also but uh, if mercury is more or less well placed in your d10 and d1 then you will eventually figure out what you need to do and you will focus on that you will have great sense of humor great imitative abilities you can have great mimicry skills also great sense of humor uh, you will want to do things in a very interesting and fun way whatever you do now first house of your d10 shows not just your profession it shows your actions also the karma in this life so you want to act very smartly intelligently uh, also yes and you want to act in a friendly way that is how you like to act also yes uh, with a lot of wit humor uh, with intelligence okay uh, and swiftness that's how you want to you know that's how you like to execute your actions okay so uh, that is your nature actually and you have you can have great power to imitate others and uh, you will also have great power of you know uh, you, you can have any sort of creative and artistic skill also you can be a great singer you can be a great dancer you can be a great painter journalist writer any sort of skills you may have okay so you may make use of uh, information technology 
or you may be in the field of information technology or you will make use of information technology in your work that is also possible okay so yeah you can have great business acumen that is why when you have gemini in the first house of your d10 such people you can uh, do very they can do well in business if they have their independent business eventually they can do well and they can also uh, when they have gemini in the first house no of d10 uh, they will also um, not just business but they will also uh, have this uh, they they are intelligent i was about to say something so they will uh, be able to you know somehow they have that power to attract others actually because they are so skillful so smart and intelligent so they have that ability to you know capture people's attention so that also we can say and uh, nevertheless it is a uh, air sign uh, air sign and it is mutable air so uh, it is a uh, dual sign gemini is a dual sign so such people they can have two sources of income that is possible so they may uh, say they may be into teaching they may also do something independently uh, they may have certain skills and they, they may want to showcase their skills on social media so they can have they can do that also which is an independent venture or thing and in it in addition to their job teaching job or counseling job so they can do two things they can handle two or more things at a time so they are very skillful so yeah all these things gemini yeah this is what i wanted to say gemini is also connected to calculations because mercury no calculation so wherever calculation is involved no so they can also be in the they can uh, their profession may be connected to the field of finance also so finance sector they can uh, do studies their profession may be connected to uh, the field of mathematics finance calculations even astrology even astrology now let's move on to the next zodiac sign cancer sign what will happen when you have cancer in the first house of d10 so if you're a cancer ascendant in your d10 what's going to happen if you're a cancer ascendant uh, then definitely look at how moon is placed in your d10 chart and also in your d1 chart if moon is more or less well placed then we can say that you will do well in your profession <clears throat> your profession can be connected to anything which is connected to the significations of moon so you could be into any creative field <coughs> so any field where you you know which is connected to your creativity creative skills artistic skills any field uh, connected to the use of uh, any field in which uh, you need to use your intuition the power of intuition so you could be into uh, any occult field that's also possible because moon is also connected to intuition so occult field is possible you can be a healer you can do very well in uh, nurturing others you can nurture others very well when you have moon in the first house of your d10 so you could be into health care industry you can also be in human resources uh, you can uh, be in to health care okay so all these things we can say so you will be very good at taking care of others it's possible so when moon is there you may also i mean cancer sign is there you may also be into social service or social work that's also possible so yeah all these things we can say cancer sign is uh, the sign 
where, where Jupiter exalts and Moon's own sign, it is connected to in-depth knowledge also. So you like to go to the depth of things and analyze things. So you could also do well in any field of research investigation. You can do well when you have cancer in the first house of your D10. So yeah. Yeah, so it definitely any field of research, investigation, going to the depth of things. So it could also be connected to even technology. Because cancer is a sign which enables you to go to the depth of matters. Now how it will be connected to technology? Say moon is now uh, being aspected by Mars. Or moon is being aspected by Rahu then we can say that you can be in the field of technology so like that you have to find out okay so yeah so you could be into any field of in-depth research investigation when you have uh, moon in the a uh, moon as the ascendant lord so your sign of cancer will be in the first house of your d10 then these results you can get uh, you will want uh, to, uh, you know, work in an environment which is peaceful. So that is very important for you. You can work properly, you can function properly in your profession only when you find a peaceful environment. Okay? So that is very important for you. Where you can be comfortable and you can work. That is important for you so all these things and uh, you can be some someone who is emotionally attached also to your work so whatever work you do behind that there may be a lot of emotional motivation that's also possible so all these things we can say when you have cancer in the first house of your d10 first house of d10 is also connected to your karma your actions so you may be compassionate charitable merciful towards others you may be empathetic towards others so deal others you may deal with others with a lot of compassion mercy so do that actually when you treat others with compassion and mercy you'll become prosperous in life when you have cancer sign in the first house of your d10 now let's move on to what will happen when you have the sign of Leo in the first house of your D10. Leo is concerned with leadership. It's connected to leadership, self-expression, creative self-expression, charisma. Okay, so Leo is connected to all of that. It's connected to creativity, to artistic abilities also. And Leo is a sign which is also connected to independence and freedom. So either you may uh, it is ruled by sun so you may work in the government sector it's possible but eventually you may think of doing something of your own independent venture that you should do actually when you have leo in the first house of d10 think of something doing something independently for you public recognition can be important you may want validation from people that may be important for you and so you may want name fame recognition you may get name fame recognition also if sun is well placed in your d10 and d1 chart you have to run after knowledge if you want to succeed in your profession because leo is a fire sign it is fixed fire so such people they can be very much determined whatever they do if they want to gain knowledge they are determined that they will have to gain knowledge and they want to bring about a positive change in their life because of the knowledge and creativity that they have. So they are very determined also. People who have Leo, determined about their work when they have Leo in the ascendant of D10. They have certain fixed set of principles. So they will not compromise on their principles if sun is well placed in D10 and D1. So they believe in gaining knowledge. They believe in bringing about a positive change in their life by dint of their knowledge, 
creativity they also have a deep desire to operate independently they love their independence their space their freedom they love that so they can do very well in any field of creativity they can have great creative skills they can have great knowledge their knowledge will enable them to rise in their profession their creativity will enable them to do well in their profession they can be connected to the field of entertainment they can be any sort of artist uh, they can they can be an independent artist or any sort of person who's into any sort of fine arts or any creative field you can be into that also uh, when you have leo you can uh, be somebody who is into speculative business you may be into any sort of job or work business which is connected to speculation so you may be into stocks and shares also that's also possible okay any sort of speculative business is seen from leo you can have great intuition so make use of your if sun is well placed you will have intuition make use of your intuition in your profession you could be a healer you could you can also be an occultist because you have knowledge intuition so you could be into any such fields of occult healing also that's possible any sort of healer you can be even you could be into independent counseling that's also possible so yeah so all these things are possible leo is a part of the dharma trine the trine of duty knowledge so you will do well in your profession if you gain knowledge if you enhance your power of intuition and creativity and if you are dutiful and accountable in your sphere of profession you need to be dutiful faithful to your profession and you need to be accountable then you will do very well in your profession never compromise on your moral principles so stick to ethics and morality when it comes to work especially so because we are talking about d10 or the career, the chart of your career so okay all these things about leo so you need to find out how sun is placed you can be into any field of uh, any field of profession also which is connected to sun so any field of knowledge you can be into because sun is the planet of knowledge whether it is the knowledge of uh, the knowledge of astrology whether it is the knowledge of medical science sun is knowledge okay so yeah all these things we can say about leo in the ascendant of d10 now let's move on to what will happen when you have virgo in the in the ascendant of d10 virgo is mutable earth sign very systematic very methodical structured in their approach to work mutable there is a sort of duality in their approach to work also means they are somebody they are very very hard working but they are adaptable they know how to adapt themselves because there is a sense of duality in virgo so they will are very grounded very practical so according to the situation no they know how to act virgo because there is a sort of sense of duality also in virgo that makes virgo sign or people with virgo sign in the ascendant of d10 that they will be able to work in a very systematic way in a very systematic way and they know how to adapt themselves to circumstances and they will work accordingly but they will always remain grounded and practical earth sign no so they will always remain grounded and practical they will uh, you know 
have great analytical powers, analytical skills. So when you have Virgo in the first house of your D10, analytical skills. So you can do well in any field of research, investigation. Virgo is also connected to healthcare and diseases. So healthcare, you could be into any sort of healthcare uh, service, whether it is being a doctor or nurse in the med in the medical science field, you can be. You can be in the profession of law also. Okay, so you could be connected to the profession of law. When you have Virgo in the first house of your D10, then your profession will be connected to any sort of routine job. So you could be in, you, you can do a nine to five job. It's possible. What is required is discipline. You have to maintain discipline in your professional life. Be it structured, goal-oriented, systematic, methodical in your approach to work. Then only you'll become successful in your profession. Look at how Mercury is placed in D10 and D1 chart. That will enable you to know what sort of results you will get pertaining to your career. As far as your karma, your actions in this life are concerned, you are again somebody who believes in being very structured and systematic in their approach to all actions that you undertake. You are very grounded, very practical. You don't believe in building castles in the air. You have great analytical calculating ability. And you know exactly what you are aiming at, what you are targeting at when you have Virgo in the first house of D10. You could, you could be into social service. You could be a great healer because Virgo is connected to medicine and healing also. So that is why you can be an occultist and healer also. When you have any sort of healer. You can also be someone who is into psychological counseling. That's also possible. So you will get good results in your professional life if you are hard working if you make efforts, if you are goal oriented, if you are systematic and structured in your approach to work, if you are disciplined, you will get good results. And uh, Virgo in the uh, first house of D10 can also show if Mercury is not so well placed, it can show that you may encounter obstacles initially in your professional life also. Or you may encounter obstacles if Mercury is not placed in both D10 and D1. So you need to overcome those obstacles in your profession. That's very important. Okay. So, yeah. Avoid conflicts with people. Especially in the professional sphere. Okay, that is important. So you need to be routine bound you need to be disciplined virgo is part of the earth trine so such people can also be very materialistic they want to gain resources they want to accumulate wealth you know and they know that they can do so through their profession so they look upon their profession Primarily as a means of accumulating resources and wealth for themselves. A very materialistic approach or attitude towards work you may have. But eventually you may want to move towards social service. That is also possible. But nevertheless you want that I must have access to resources and wealth. Only then I can do whatever I want to. Even if I want to do charity, for that also I need wealth in the first place. Very analytical, very intelligent, very calculating, very meticulous about details. 
so virgo ascendant in the d10 you will get good results if you continue remaining disciplined and methodical towards your work and analytical too your profession could be connected to any sort of uh, medicines healing and so on as i told you now let's uh, move on to what will happen uh, when you have libra in the first house of your d10 when you have libra in the first house of your d10 so you believe in harmony balance in your work life so everything in your work life should be in a harmonious state you want that you need to balance out things well so your profession may be connected to any sort of give and take libra is air sign and it is movable cardinal air so lot of exchanges with people so your profession could be connected to counseling it independent counseling or any sort of counseling it can be connected to human resource management it can be connected to the profession of law when you have libra in the first house of d10 law judicial services when you have a uh, libra in the first house of d10 your profession may be connected to conflict resolution negotiation that is also possible so basically you know it is connected to the field of law so law and the field of you know the judiciary because saturn also exalts in libra and libra is ruled by venus so find out how venus is placed in your d10 and d1 your profession may be connected to foreign lands import export exchanges with foreign lands it may be connected to any sort of independent business that you are doing in your professional sphere you lot you need to interact with people a lot your profession is based on interactions with people a lot of give and take with people so that is why you could be into trading uh, or business it's possible so all these things we can say when you have uh, libra in the first house of your d10 libra is part of the kama trikona the trine of ambition so if venus is well placed then such people will be highly ambitious about their work they want to gain a lot of success in life they want to fulfill all their desires in life and all their ambition so they are very ambitious they have a lot of desires and they want all of their desires to be fulfilled and they believe that it is through their work through the success that they are going to attain in life because of their work that they will be able to fulfill all their desires and ambition in life so when you have libra libra is connected to balance so any sort of profession that involves negotiation any sort of profession which is connected to law as i told you so all that can be connected and uh, even business which involves give and take okay or counseling and all that so yeah all these things we can say when you have libra in the first house of your d10 chart so you should treat whomever you deal with in your professional sphere you should treat them with fairness and justice then you will get very good results uh, you know 
as in the field of profession so you will become successful in your career if you treat people with fairness and justice you will become very successful in your career and day by day you will see growth in your career now let's move on to the next zodiac sign when you have scorpio in the first house of your d10 what will happen scorpio is water sign and scorpio is fixed water so and it is also part of the moksha trine so it is connected to creativity intuition initially in life such people they may encounter certain obstacles in their profession also it is seen it's possible but if from the very start they are into research investigation technology occult healing psychology then they will get good results scorpio in the first house of d10 is connected to all of these fields it is connected to psychological counseling psychiatry it is connected to occult fields like astrology numerology tarot etc then it is connected to scorpio is connected to technology it is connected to research investigation healing it is also connected to investment banking any sort of investments if you if your profession is connected to that or if your profession is also connected to uh somehow yeah investing uh any sort of investment that is seen in the finance sector is it could be connected to finance and investment specially so scorpio energy is connected to that now you really have to make use of your intuition in your work you must be prepared to undertake in-depth study research investigation if you do that if you are very particular about going to the depth of things and studying and uncovering the truth then you will get very good results you somebody you know may have been maybe a detective they may be into secret agencies or the intelligence department they may be into secretive investigation they may be into occult hidden mysterious mystical knowledge then they will get very good results when you have scorpio in the first house of your d 10 in your personal life also whatever actions you execute those actions will be well thought out because you are whatever you will actions you will engage yourself in those actions will be guided by a lot of deep thinking but don't indulge in overthinking about your actions when you have scorpio in the first house of d10 overthinking is not good however deep strategic thinking is good so all these things we can say about scorpio in the first house of d10 you will get wonderful results if you are into the field of technology research occult and so on so yeah and focus you need re- you really need to go to the depth of things and for that you need focus and concentration then you will get wonderful results okay so yes all these things we can say about scorpio your uh, profession may be connected to other people's money so you could be into insurance sector also chartered accountancy also that's also possible audit chartered accountancy etc that's also connected with scorpio find out how mars is placed and how pluto mars is uh, a planet which rules scorpio even it is connected scorpio is connected to pluto also to find out how mars and pluto basically your profession can transform your life so you need to go to the depth of matters analyze everything investigate everything well do proper research study and 
you should work hard with a lot of dedication yes with fixed focus then you will get wonderful results and eventually you will see growth and transformation positive transformation in your life because of your profession so you can heal others with the power of your intuition so that's possible all right uh, so friends uh, now let's move on to what will happen when you have the sign of sagittarius in the first house of your d10 chart all right when you have sagittarius in the first house sagittarius is ruled by jupiter this is fire sign and it is mutable or dual fire okay and sagittarius uh, is part of the dharma trine the trine of duty knowledge so you will get good results in your profession if you gain knowledge if you move towards gaining knowledge if you enhance your power of creativity and intuition and knowledge you will get good results so now depends on how jupiter is placed in the chart in which house with which planets or which planets are aspecting jupiter all that will now color the interpretation regarding your career but nevertheless we can say that because sagittarius is in the first house you need to focus on gaining knowledge that is the key to success in your profession you may have to undertake travel to foreign lands because of your profession your profession can be connected to teaching counseling even healing you can be an independent counselor or teacher or professor or your profession can be connected to travel and tourism also it's possible it can be connected to the travel industry because of your profession you may require to travel to a foreign land that is also possible whatever actions or karmas also that you are engaged in in this life you will want to do all of that out of a sense of duty responsibility towards others and your ethics and morality will guide you to act in a certain way in life because d10 is not just career it is also the chart of your karmas that you're going to fulfill in this life so your actions can be inspired by your moral principles provided jupiter is well placed more or less well placed in d10 and d1 you could also be into managerial jobs it's possible you can have managerial abilities and you can also be somebody uh, who is into uh, any sort of profession where you need where you are doing a lot of where your job no is a very responsible job a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders and you're managing everything that is why i said managerial positions you may be into sagittarius is also connected to law and justice it is also connected to law and justice so any field of profession connected to law justice or the judiciary that's also you can be a judge that's also possible or you could be in the field of law when you have sagittarius no you love your independence freedom your goal oriented you have strange certain goals you always chase those targets in your profession okay and sagittarius people you know sagittarius ascendant in the d10 you have that duality you know in your attitude towards your profession on the one hand at times you are very serious very focused goal oriented on the other hand at times you want to relax you want to be playful you want to do things in a fun way you want to explore other skills that you have that sort of duality in your nature you also have you may be very, very serious very focused and goal oriented in your professional sphere 
but at times you may want to relax and explore other fields of interests that you have that also is possible anyways sagittarius ascendant ascendant in the d10 you are risk takers adventurers you have a great spirit of adventure and exploration you are optimistic goal oriented far sighted broad minded also in your approach to work you always look at bigger picture you try to set long term goals when you have sagittarius in the first house of your d10 you can be knowledgeable you can have wisdom and you should gain knowledge go on gaining knowledge enhance your creative skills if you have any then you will go on doing well you have a sense of originality in you also you can be very you know blessed with creativity and originality and knowledge and intuition also so make use of all of that in your career or profession and also in the way in which you execute your task and fulfill your karma in this life okay so you can be fortunate in life also because of your profession so if your profession requires you to travel to other places foreign places then you should take up that opportunity if you do that you will rise in your profession also now let's move on to the next placement if you have capricorn in the first house of your d10 what will happen basically you are methodical structured systematic goal oriented disciplined regarding your work your approach to work look at how saturn is placed in your d10 and d1 chart that will say a lot about the type of career or profession you are going to follow in this life nevertheless you will believe in doing things in a very systematic way you can be very practical and grounded too when it comes to your work you want to do things in a very disciplined way you are goal oriented you are materialistic also especially when it comes to your work you want material results you want to amass wealth through your work you want to have access to resources and wealth because of your work materialistic approach to work and capricorn capricorn if saturn is more or less in good dignity you can also again have great managerial skills you could find yourself in the field of administration you could be in uh you know you can find yourself in great in responsible positions in big organizations you have organizational skills when you have capricorn in the first house of your d10 so you could be in a very high or at a very high position in the hierarchy in any corporate sector or in any sector even government sector any sector you will you could be you could have a position of power and authority in the hierarchy in your work sector that's possible because you have managerial skills because you have organizational abilities you could be into architecture even into engineering and architecture that's possible now because capricorn people no they know how to plan things and design things very well so they can do very well in engineering they can do very well in architecture they can do very well in any field of work which demands 
designing organization okay so in such fields they will do very well now 10th uh, capricorn is connected to the 10th house of the kalpurusha the 10th house is the house of power authority it is also the house of the house of your public image social image and reputation <coughs> you have capricorn in 10th capricorn is connected to your social life also public image also so somehow if capricorn is in the first house of d10 if saturn has some connection with rahu you can be in the field of administration administrative services you can also be into politics or your profession may be connected to foreign lands or you may work for foreign based companies that is possible but whatever be your profession when you have capricorn in the first house of your d10 you really need to be structured systematic even analytical in your approach to work then you will get wonderful results in your profession all right you should make long term plans long term goals you should set for yourself and then you will get wonderful results and you should keep working towards those goals continuous hard work making efforts in a very systematic structured way will lead you to success in your profession so all these things we can say about capricorn in the first house of d10 it will depend a lot on how saturn is placed in which house it is in conjunction with which planets they will say a lot of things more about your profession career even as far as your karmas or your actions are concerned in this life you know you will want to do things in a very systematic way whatever you do you love structure you love order when you have capricorn in the first house of your d10 you love discipline yes yes friends all these things we can say about capricorn ascendant in the d10 now let's move on to what will happen if you are an aquarius ascendant in the d10 all right aquarius aquarius is air sign Aquarius is air sign and it is fixed air. Fixed air it is part of the Kama Trikona, the trine of desires. So a lot of ambition, a lot of desires in you. A lot of expectations from your work. Sky is the limit. You want to achieve this, that and what not. You can set goals for yourself, long term goals also. all kinds of goals all kinds of desires pertaining to your work and you will want to reach those goals if saturn is well placed you will achieve your goals if saturn is not well placed if you have aquarius in the first house of d10 you may set unrealistic targets and goals and you may not be able to achieve them properly but if saturn is well placed you will end up achieving those goals people may find you very unconventional especially in your work life as far as your profession is concerned people may find you very strange they may, it may be beyond their understanding they may think that you know they may wonder why you are making such weird decisions in your profession they may ridicule you they may criticize you they may laugh at you they may be little you they may mock you don't care if saturn is well placed if uranus and rahu 
Uranus and Rahu are the north node of the moon. They are also connected to the Aquarius energy. Find out how these planets are placed in your chart. If they are more or less well placed, Saturn, Uranus, Rahu are the north node of the moon. You don't have to listen to anyone else. You just follow your own creativity. Okay? And assert your individuality through your work. Your creativity, your individuality. You have to assert that. And your work will speak up for you. You don't have to listen or pay heed to others, you know, uh, discouraging words or comments. They may discourage you. But when you really know that what I'm, I have certain goals in mind and I will end up achieving them. When you know it for a fact that I can do it, then just do it. Again, it is part of the Kama Trikona. So you want to achieve or fulfill your desires, but for that you have to make efforts. Kama Trine. So your desires will get fulfilled provided you make efforts. So you have to make efforts along the right direction along a constructive direction and go on making efforts and you know sky is your limit so you can get boundless success in your work if you really go on acquiring skills and if you go on you know whatever your profession is connected with if you go on making efforts you will do very well in your profession. You just have to go on making efforts. That's it. And you will achieve one milestone after another. Aquarius is fixed air. Such people will do well when they use their knowledge, their ability to go to the depth of things, analyze things. They can have intellectual depth. They can have great ability to do research, investigation. They can do very well in the field of occult. And also in the field of technology, when you have Aquarius in the first house of your D10, you can do very well in the field of technology, science and technology, research, investigation or occult. You can be a healer, an independent counsellor, a healer, even a psychologist. So all that is possible. So you can get into healing, occult, any sort of practices which require you to go to the depth of things and analyze things, investigate things, to gain knowledge, to uncover hidden truths. That is the Aquarius energy. Okay? So, if you really go on making efforts, maybe uh, if your profession want, demands you, or if your profession, you know, uh, requires you, to go on gaining knowledge through research, investigation, in-depth study, then you should go on gaining knowledge, develop your uh, power of intuition, go on gaining knowledge and go on doing research and you will get good results in your profession, whatever be your profession. So all these things we can say about Aquarius, such people have great analytical powers. They have great ability to do research. They can do very well in the field of law, legal investigation. They can do very well in the field of medicine, medical science, especially surgery or any, any other field of medical uh, any, any field of investigation uh, which is connected either to the field of law or medical science, any field, or investigation in technology. So it is all about, because air sign, Aquarius is air sign, the sign of intelligence, intellectual depth and fixed air so you your goals and targets no you have to be totally dedicated towards your goals and targets and you will achieve them 
so that's all about Aquarius in the first house of your D10 now finally let's move on to your uh, Pisces in the first house of D10 what will happen if you're a Pisces ascendant initially you may be a little confused it may happen because Pisces can show confusion indecision initially okay but eventually you should connect with your inner self and realize what sort of creative skills you have so your creative skills your knowledge will enable you to prosper Pisces is connected to Jupiter also connected to Neptune okay so that's why you have to gain knowledge you have to go to the depth of things again because water Pisces is water sign and it is mutable dual water so you have to be you have to strike a balance between your ideals and reality okay Pisces people at times they are very idealistic when you have Pisces in the first house of D10 no you'll be very idealistic about your profession you want this that in a very perfect way everything you will want okay and you will want to follow your ideals in your profession and you will actually set certain ideals for yourself that my profession should have these ideal standards but you need to strike a balance between your idealism and reality so when you learn how to strike that balance it is then that the mutable water energy of Pisces will start blessing you you have to start striking a balance only if you think that uh, things have to be perfect in my profession only then I can work if you are so rigid no then it will be difficult for you to prosper so you have to understand that yes everything may not always be perfect but I have to work hard I have to undergo maybe obstacles I have to undergo hardships I have to go to the depth of things analyze things I have to do proper investigation research also because this is water energy and Pisces is also connected with going to the depth of things and doing research so I will have to you know take up all challenges and I will have to you know make sure that I go to the depth of things and analyze things well then you will start getting good results in your profession Pisces is connected to surrender devotion also so your profession may be connected to spiritual practices it may be connected to occult practices also you may be a healer you may be into psychology you may you may be a psychological counselor also Pisces is connected to healing practices yoga meditation also for your profession you may require to settle down in a foreign land so maybe you'll have to move to a foreign land and settle down there because of your profession your profession may be connected to investment banking your profession may be connected to any sort of finance sector which is connected with investments your profession may be uh, connected to even audit chartered accountancy whatever is hidden secretive that is shown by Pisces that is why Pisces is also connected to technology so all these things you know we can say when you have Pisces in the first house of your D10 so initially you may be a little confused but eventually if Jupiter and Neptune more or less if they are well placed in your D10 and D1 chart then you will figure out what you really have to do you will be willing to gain knowledge to go to the depth of things analyze things for yourself and you will be willing to make efforts and overcome all challenges and all confusion will fade away and there will be clarity so that is what is the Pisces energy now Pisces is as I told you it's water sign so it is also connected to being a fictional writer 
creativity any sort of creative skills you may have you may be a very good dancer you may have great dancing skills you may be a great fictional writer great power of imagination so you can be a very good painter or fictional writer you may be uh, someone who has great power of imagination creativity so make use of that in your profession then you will get good results you may like to work in isolation solitude that is okay so stay in isolation stay in solitude and create something new out of it create something beautiful and meaningful you make use of your creativity make use of your intuition in your work make use of your knowledge in your work you may share your knowledge with others you may be into counseling also when you have pisces in the first house of your date you may be a, an independent counselor any sort of counseling you may be into you may be a healer and or psychologist also you may be a great occultist also if you have pisces in the first house of your date so friends that was my take on pisces in the first house of d10 and also what will happen when you have different zodiac signs all 12 signs from aries to pisces through the first house of your d10 chart or the ascendant of d10 through all 12 signs from aries to pisces i hope you found this video informative do let me know in the comment section and friends if you want personal consultation you can get in touch with me details are there in the video description and uh, also yeah before i wind up this session do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the all notification bell so that you get notification of such interesting videos on astrology and uh, do not forget to subscribe and share and also friends i wanted to tell you before i wind up please believe in charity be kind compassionate to the poor to the unprivileged very important and you can donate whatever you can to old age homes and orphanages and uh donating food is always better um i feel um, and you should also believe in uh vegetarianism friends be kind to animals birds and creatures be kind and merciful to them they too have the right to live see you next time thank you